for you, part four, Pastor Wolfmuller here. Instead of thinking about the you part, let's think about the four part. Because there's some other options. The Lord is for you. Well, let's just take that word out and leave it blank and see what else could go in there. The Lord is blank you. <laughs> now you could fill in the blank. And while our confession would fill it in with grace and the gospel, the Lord is for us. He's on our side. He's on behalf of us. He's the one who fights uh, with us and against our enemies. What do you feel? I was, I was thinking about this this morning, the confession of our lips versus the confession of our heart. How do we feel that the Lord is toward us? I, I think that I at least often feel, especially as my guilt is there, that I feel like the Lord is against me. The Lord is against you. The Lord is ignoring you. The Lord has forgotten you. The Lord has whatever. But when we turn to the scriptures, we see this so clearly. The Lord is for us. He fights for us. He's incarnate for us. He's suffering and dying for us. He's bleeding for us, nailed to the cross for us, laid in the tomb for us, risen from the dead for us, sitting at the right hand of, of God and ruling and reigning all things for the sake of his body, the church. <laughs> Jesus is not against you. He is in all these ways for you. God be praised. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.